All right, Shalom, one my Kim. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'asham, Yahweh Shai, Ba'asham, Racha Kodash. I'd like to give them honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect. This teaches word in our true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to tie this lesson. The day is at hand. Which is the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. See, all these events that's taking place upon planet Earth, these are not random events. You know, this is actually the build up, you know, to the return of our Lord. And in that, that's going to actually involve, you know, the destruction of America, man. But this is that time. You know, that we have been, matter of fact, let's get this in the book of St. Matthew 24. In verse 3, it reads, And as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him privately. So this is a private matter. Only to those that's in the council of Yahweh Shai, man. You know, those that have eyes to see and ears to hear. That's who it was always for. That's why I said, who got, uh, he that had ears to hear, let him hear. So it was like a coded message for the elect, you know. As you can see, it says the disciples came up to him privately saying, tell us, see, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of thy coming and of the end of the world? So these things was only given to a few, man, did concerning this matter. This is a monumental moment, man. The return of our Lord. And in, a, in the fashion it's going to be in, the I said, those that love is appearing. And it says, in the end of the world, so concerning the end of this time period, this rulership. And the Lord was giving us, uh, matter of fact, let's get it in St. Luke 21. Pretty much the same thing, but I'm going to get in 21. I'm going to jump to 25. It says, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars. So these are the things that we should look for concerning his coming. You know, the different uh, signs in the heavens. The chariots, you know, is it, it, to the point that the, uh, the evidence is so overwhelming. They just had to come out with AC. That's the spirit. Well, war and rumors of war, man. You know? But just going back to the, the chariots, you know, uh, the evidence is so overwhelming. The Pentagon just came out with it. They ain't give you the good shit, you know? They ain't give you the, you know what I mean? But they gave you something to let you know that it's. Is out there. Which are those are the heavenly hosts, man. And that caused Esau to react. And now he have a space force. You know? It's just, so that's even a part of the size in the heavens as well. Esau his space force, man. You know? Because that now the war in heaven makes more sense. What this devil's gone. He got fighter jets and different uh, weapons out in space. You know, in a in a uh, you know hovering over the earth pretty much. So that's a, that's also another different signs in the heavens. You know, as well as the, you got the different moon cycles, the blood moons and wolf moons, and you know the eclipses. It says, and upon the earth. Distress of nations, see, and this is what we're seeing. Just going back to the article that just, you know, that notification. UN nuclear war. This is this is the the trend that's on the earth. The Caragma, man. Which that's gonna climax the distress. You know, that's gonna bring forth that time of trouble, that that uh the hour of temptation. You know, it says, with perplexity, the sea and the waves roar. See, 
So now the ties are being stirred up. See, we're in a time where we're going to actually witness. We're in a generation where we're going to see, you know, a transition of power, but not just to know, not from the Babylonians to the Persians or, or how the Greeks did, you know, or, you know, we're going to actually see, witness the us from the kingdom of heaven, man. You know how a generation was able to see, uh, you know, go through that time of World War II. They was actually there and uh, in it or, you know, concerning these different major events. It was a generation that was there to witness and record it and, you know. But we, this is the generation we're going to actually see the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai. Lord, we're part of the righteous number, man. To see the salvation. But these are, the, this is the time because look at these events. It's not just uh, happening every once in a while. It's constantly happening. That's why it says evil and only evil. You know, those birth pains. You know, those, those contractions. As you get close to the birth, you get more constant, you know? It says, it says men's heart failing them for fear. See, that's their perplexity. So, your outlook on things, your, your answer to every problem, you know, your plan, your idea is going to be thrown out the window when the famine comes. You know, when you see that mechanical dog patrolling the streets, that cutlass ain't going to matter, man. You know, or whatever the case may be. You know? Uh, these people are going to fall apart for the things that's going to come upon the earth. See? And they say it's going to be on high. The Lord's going to send forth these plagues, man. It says, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. So from someone just, uh, you uh college professor to your uh, gym partner, you know, to a preacher, a pastor, to all to these these heads, they're not gonna uh, be able to grasp what's going on. They're gonna be shaken out of their place. You know, it says, and then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. See, that's the point. The return of our Lord, man. That's what it's a build up to, and that's gonna be a. It's gonna break up everything. To where you know in the midst of World War Three, these uh, these you know these other nations are gonna stop and try to fight the Lord, man. You know all these is the, the famine going on, the seditions, you know, among many uprising, and or the, it's gonna be fires on the earth. What that that's uh, let's get down to St. Luke twelve. It's going to be built up to the climax to our Lord. St. Luke 12 and verse 49. It says, I am come to send fire on the earth. And what will I if it be already kindled? See, this is going to, earth is going to be on, earth is on fire now. And it's only, it's going to only intensify, man. And the Lord is going to come and bring that ultimate fire, man. Matter of fact, let's get that in the book of uh, Isaiah 66. Isaiah 66, I started at verse 15 and reads, For behold, the Lord, Yahweh Bashem Abishai, will come with fire, see? To render his anger with fury and his rebuke with flames of fire, see? So that's going to be them cherries and them uh, laser beams, man. Pretty much. That concentrated fire. It says, For by fire and by his sword, the Lord plead with our flesh, see, and the slaying of the Lord shall be many. So, and we and we in that process now, the, the Lord slaying, you know, and it's only going to climax to the to the destruction of America. Tell you, it's going to be in that uh, slaying 7,000, which is a complete number, you know, how, how old men the Lord won't still alive in this place. When those missiles come, you know, but hey, they're gonna be, you know, all the, they're gonna be raised up to get those missiles, man. Pretty much, you know, 
But it said the slain of the Lord shall be many. He gonna plead with his judge. You know, by the way of that destruction, man. So, um, matter of fact, go on. Let's go back to St. Luke one more again. 21, verse 28. It says, And when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads, for your redemption draw up now. See? So our redemption draw now, meaning what? The return of our Lord Yahweh Shah. He's the one that's going to redeem us. When you read Deuteronomy 28th chapter, it said, No man shall redeem thee. But then it tells you that our Lord Yahweh Shah. He said he's not going to return as a man uh, in Isaiah the 47 chapter. He's coming back as the angelic force, man. You know, to overthrow this man. So our redemption is not the return of our Lord Yahweh Shah. It's not, and it's being made known and manifest by these events that's taking place upon the planet Earth. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's an effort to, to destroy America as well, man. That's why going back to the same Matthew 24 chapter said, what shall be the sign of thy coming in the end of the world? So that entails the destruction of America because he is going to do it, man. You know, it says he's going to spread his wings over Basra. Yeah, I was going to come to America, man. You know? And it tells you how they're going to just fall apart when they see it, but they're going to still have to fight, though. You know? So, matter of fact, let's get this in the book of Romans. Chapter 11. So like a verse. Chapter 13, verse 11. It reads, And that knowing the time, that now it is high time to awake out of sleep. See, so this is a sense of urgency. That this is the high time. This is that time. That appointed time. That time of salvation. The Lord has sent that aid, which is the Holy Spirit. To comfort us, man. This is that mercy, you know. But it is high time to awake out of sea, so being out of this dead state of mind. It says, for now is our salvation nearer than when we believe, see? We have a size nearer than when we believe, man. Because guess what? The Lord, uh, is one of his characteristics is suddenness, man. You know, suddenly the money can crash. And all the pieces are there for it to happen. Suddenly, you know, the power can go out. You know, suddenly um, the karma can just be mandated. Everything is already on the books, you know. Uh, just take the right major event, whatever the case may be. But everything is here. Well, I said it is high time. You know, it says the night is far spent. See, this man is have, have had his run. You know, Esau have, have had his run. Now we're into the the dawning of the day, you know, the, the, you know, at midnight, pretty much at the height of the night. To where now it's down here from there, man. You know, it said the day is at hand, see, which is our Lord Yahweh Shai. The bright and morning star. He's the gonna he's the one that's gonna bring that light. You know? Tell you that in the book of Job, some chapter concerning that this being the land of darkness, and how ultimately um, this, uh, when we read Isaiah the sister chapter, it talks about how the earth is darkness and, and gross darkness, the people, so the influence of this devil. But we in that process where it's being destroyed now, you know, matter of fact, it says, it says, let us therefore cast off the works of darkness. And let us put on the armor of light. See, the worst of darkness is the, all the different ideologies and philosophies of uh, pretty much what this devil have given us, you know, from we you know in the world. And we put on that armor of light, which is just truth, man. That light, you know. And this is Esau's, uh, his kryptonite, you know, because his strength is darkness. And when the light comes on, uh, light and darkness can't dwell together. The darkness will flee, man. You know, so truth is destroying this man. You know, and and and, and, and <clears throat> you see the uh, the height of war is coming. 
I say Esau's beer. Yeah, matter of fact, because that's part of the day is coming. Matter of fact, let's get into the book of Thessalonians. Second at Thessalonians 2. See? This is even only. That's the only thing you get in the news. Sister to kill. In the one form. This is all you get. So this shows that we, we it's not. This is not a every, like I said, every once in a while thing. Second at Thessalonians 2. And, um. I started at two, um, 1. It says, now we beseech you, brethren, by the coming of our Lord Yahweh Mashiach, and by our gathering together unto him, that ye be not soon, soon shaken in mind. See, so you got to be uh, firmly grounded in Yahweh or be troubled, troubled neither by spirit, nor by word, nor by letter as from us, as that day of Yahweh is at hand. See? It says, let no man deceive you by any means, for that day shall not come. See, what day? The day of Yahweh Shai making his return. Lord Yahweh Shai, you know. It says, for that day shall not come itself. Make him a falling away first. See, in the heaven, 7 AD, pretty much when we was cast out of our land, you know, that kind of kick, kick, you know, brought that forward. We was cast out of our land. Was that prophecy it tells you that ultimately we will go to Babylon to be delivered when you read Micah the fourth chapter? So, this is that process of prophecy before the return. So, it steps, it shows you it's a build up to our Lord Yahweh Shah. It says, For that day shall not come. See, before the final scene, these are the events that have to take place. Except they're coming falling away first. And see, and now we're in that process of being brought back together. You know, Ezekiel 37 is now playing out this great awakening. I said the Lord is now binding up the wounds by giving us this truth. It says, and that man of sin be revealed, the son of perdition. See? So this is part of it. This is these are the steps. The son of perdition have to be revealed. Who is that? Cain, which is in the modern day, in the modern times, the so-called white man, which are the biblical Edomites. He is now being revealed because ultimately, going back to the end of the world, he is that he represents the end of the world. Matter of fact, going down verse eight, it says, and then shall that wicked be revealed. See, so uh, then the wicked is going to be revealed. Whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth. See, so this is part of the downfall, you know, of this devil, him being revealed. He's being consumed by the truth, man. That's why you got YouTube guidelines. You know, they're pushing forth more censorship. You got medical misinformation. They put, they got a whole team concerning misinformation. You know, conspiracy theories and you know, uh, it's a war on that. Conspiracy theorists. So they show you how this devil works and how is uh, one thing he can't uh, come back is truth. It says, and shall, it says, and then shall that wicked be revealed, whom the Lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth, and shall destroy with the brightness of his coming. See. So his return, he's gonna destroy the wicked who's revealed the the uh the murderer, you know, the 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 uh the thief. So we're gonna be found in his hand when you're reading the law. But he's the guy. That devil, the so-called white man, which are the Edomites. But it tells you in with his in his coming, and he's gonna do that. You know, but it says the day is, uh, matter of fact, let's go back to it. <clears throat> so like you. Romans. Chapter 13, verse 11, it says, 
I mean, verse 12, so like it. He said, the night is far spent. See, so this man is at his end. Why? Because now he's in the part where he's being revealed. This is concerning his downfall. When you read Jeremiah in the 49th chapter, it talks about concerning his downfall. Before he, uh, he ultimately gets destroyed, he will lose his wisdom, you know, and ultimately he will be made bare. And we see in that process. And now the only thing this man is going to rely on is his sword. Which it tells you in the uh, prophecy that his his his, his sword going into his own heart, meaning that those thermonuclear missiles, man. You know that was the invention. The Lord set up him to be the smith. You know he saw to be the smith. By the way, these scientists, you know, splashing these atoms. But that was ultimately was for their destruction. You know. You ever watch a YouTube video concerning scientists being killed by their own inventions? Well, we're going to actually see this in its perfection concerning a one invention will lead to a downfall of an empire, a dynasty. You know? It says, it says, uh, the night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness and let us put on the armor of light. See, and that's what we're doing. We're not standing upon this man. We're not uh, biding under his shadow. We're biding in Yahweh's shadow. We're going to the Holy One of Israel, you know, because now the Lord has opened our eyes and see, we see the end of this world. The night is far spent. The, this devil has ran his course. And these things that take place upon the planet Earth is to show that this is the return of our Lord Yahweh Shai and the destruction of America. So, yeah, I can. I just hope they were edifying. I'd like to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Raka, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. I'd like to say Shalom to the elect. This decent word in our true faith and sincerity. DTA. A vibe about soon, very soon.